Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be creating our NAT gateway so instances in our private subnet would have access to the internet. To create our NAT gateway, first select the region where you want to create your NAT gateway in. I want to create mines in the Northern Virginia region, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Next, we are going to allocate an elastic IP address. So come to services and go down to networking and content delivery and select VPC. On the left side, we are going to select elastic IPs, then click allocate elastic IP address. It is going to be in the US East 1 and it is going to be an IPv4 address. Click allocate. We have allocated that elastic IP. Now we can create our NAT gateway. On the left side, select NAT gateways. Then click create NAT gateway. We are going to give it a name. I'm going to call it NAT gateway public subnet one. So that's just letting me know in what subnet I'm putting this NAT gateway. Then on that subnet, going to select that drop down. And I have all these subnets that is showing here from other VPCs I have in my account. But we want to put it in our Jupyter VPC public subnet one. So look for your, whatever name you give your VPC, put it in the public subnet one. Then under elastic IP allocation ID, select this drop down and we are going to select the elastic IP address we created previously. Then we are going to select create NAT gateway. It is now creating our NAT gateway. You can see that the state is saying pending. Let's give it some time. Once the state of your NAT gateway has changed to available, the last thing we need to do is update the route table for our private subnets. So on the left side, select route tables. And let's filter this by our VPC. So in here, I can filter it by the Jupyter VPC. So I only see my route table that are in that VPC. I'll select my private route table. Then I'll select the route tab. I'll click edit route. And I'll click add route. And type zero. And select this 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0 0. It is saying anywhere. The target. We are going to select NAT gateway. And it will show you the NAT gateway we have currently in our VPC. We'll select it and click save routes and close. And this is how you create a NAT gateway so instances in your private subnet can have access to the internet. Remember we did three main things. First, we allocate an elastic IP address. Then we create our NAT gateway. And lastly, we update the route table for the private subnets and add a route that is routing internet traffic through the NAT gateway. In the next lecture, we are going to test whether this NAT gateway is working. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.